it's giveaway time hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sammy from go Sammy Joe and I am super excited for today's video because I am doing my very first giveaway I've been wanting to do a giveaway on this channel for so long and I love seeing the little GoPro community that I'm building here and everyone wanting to learn more about the cameras so in today's video we are going to be giving away a brand new GoPro Hero 8. So this isn't a sponsored giveaway, this is a giveaway I'm doing on my own. I bought two GoPros, one for me and one to give away to one of you guys. So uh, it would really mean the world uh, for you to support this giveaway. Please make sure to like and share this video on Facebook or anywhere that you can because I would really appreciate it. So make sure to stick around to the end to find out how you can win your very own GoPro Hero 8. So in today's video we're actually going to be going over all the new updates for the Hero 8 and trying to figure out if you should upgrade, if you have a Hero 7, should you upgrade, or if you're just looking to get a new GoPro, which one you should get. So if you guys find this video helpful at any moment, please make sure to like and subscribe, turn on post notifications to find out more about that giveaway, and let me know your first impressions of the Hero 8 down below. Alright, so let's get into the video. Okay, so the new GoPro Hero 8 was announced on October 1st this past week and they announced two different cameras with some major updates. They announced the GoPro Hero 8, which is basically the upgrade from the Hero 7 Black, and they also announced the GoPro Max, which is the upgrade from the GoPro Fusion. Now, in today's video, we're only really going to be talking about the GoPro Hero 8, but I'm looking forward to also getting the Hero Max and making a video on that too. So the GoPros were announced on the 1st, but they don't ship until the 15th, so at this moment I still don't have the cameras. So they will actually be shipped to me on the 15th, probably get them around the 17th or something like that, and then I'm going to be making a full review of the camera on this channel too, probably like within the week that I get it. So if you want to see more of that video, and also that's going to be part of the giveaway too, make sure to turn on post notifications so you know when that video goes out. So they added a bunch of new features with the new GoPro Hero 8, including both physical and just features in the camera as well. So we're going to be going over both of them, but first we're going to go over the new physical features. The first new physical feature is built-in mounting. So usually you have like a little case for this for the GoPro to go in where you mount it at. Now the GoPro mount is going to be built into the camera right down here. So that is going to be awesome because I am always losing this thing and forgetting it. So it'll be really nice to have that. So the other thing is now at the bottom where the mount is going to be, that's where the battery is now. So the battery is actually going to be on the side with the SD card. So you're going to be able to access it at all times and not have to like take everything off to get it off, which will be really nice. Now, although the GoPro Hero 8 is slightly bigger, they're actually saying it is 14% lighter. So it's going to be a little bit of a lighter camera, which is really nice. I mean, the cameras are always, or these cameras are always pretty light to begin with, so, but to make it even lighter is great. All right, now, the biggest update of all is the media mods, and this is the thing I'm most excited for. <laughs> so, the media mods, basically, it is a casing that goes around the GoPro, and it offers additional features, like a shotgun mic, and then two shoe mounts, uh, where different modules can go into them, including a light module, and a display module, so like a flip screen for the camera. It also has a 3.5 millimeter mic port, an HDMI port, and a USB-C port. I am very excited about this upgrade because it means that GoPro was actually listening. If you've been around GoPros for a while, everyone's always complained about the audio and how they want to use it for vlogging, but the audio is never good. Like there's been so many videos this past year on different people trying to troubleshoot the audio and creating their own audio solution. So it's really great that they listened and they made a option for for us. Now this isn't something I'm probably always going to use, only when I'm vlogging, but I've never really vlogged on my GoPro before. I've got my G7X here with my flip screen because like when I vlog I kind of need to see myself to feel comfortable in knowing what the image looks like and stuff. So it's really nice that they're going to have it and I'm going to be using my GoPro for vlogging way more than I did before. So good job GoPro. I'm glad you listened and I'm really excited for that update. Another really cool thing with the media mod is the light. Now vlogging in low light sucks. Like with Go GoPros in low light just suck. Now that you have this light with it, you're able to vlog at all different times of the day. So at first I kind of thought that 
adjustment was kind of stupid but the more I thought about it I'm like wow that is a great idea and they have them on both uh, on both sides so you can both have the screen and the light at the same time it'll be great for vlog this is the best thing they could have done appeal to more vloggers with their camera so I'm very excited to start vlogging with it okay so now we're gonna start going into more of the new camera features inside the camera if you guys have a hero 7 you are aware of their hyper smooth update they made last year well they made a hyper smooth 2.0 for the hero 8 this also includes a boost mode as well so the hyper smooth 2.0 it basically it lets you adjust how much smooth this you want because sometimes you want a little bit of the natural feel to it but sometimes you want it to be just like dead smooth so you can adjust what levels you want it to be which I think is really awesome now this boost smooth mode is for when you want no shake at all and you just click it on there for when you're in a really shaky situation and there will be no shake now again I haven't tested the camera out myself but from what I'm seeing from other videos it looks like it works really well the other great thing about this hyper smooth 2.0 it is available in all frame rates and resolutions so you don't have to be in a specific frame rate or resolution to use it which is great now just like hyper smooth they added a time warp 2.0 so with the time warp you can adjust the speed to how quick you want it and also when you are doing this time warp if you want to slow down r randomly because you see something cool you can just tap on the screen bring them back to real time for a couple of seconds and then tap it back to go back into time warp mode this is a really cool feature again this is more I guess user friendly for the majority so for filmmakers that want more uh, versatility with their video be able to do whatever they want with it it can be a little frustrating because you can't say oh I want to slow it down here afterwards because you do it all in the camera but a majority of GoPro users aren't professional video editors so I see why they did it that way it just can be frustrating I think it would be cool if they had both options for the next camera so they also have a new digital lens feature so basically you're able to when you're shooting you can see if you want it wide or if you want it linear and just go up and down and kind of see what you would like this is nice because i don't always know like in my head what it's going to look like so to be able to compare it just right on the screen there is really cool another feature i am super excited about is presets so there's always people asking what are the best settings for you know if you're shooting at doors at night or if you're uh going mountain biking and stuff like that too and you know everyone always has their different opinion well now gopro has released presets so they have like an activity preset a cinematic preset so that if you want the best settings for whatever you're shooting you just click that and the really cool thing that i like is that you can make your own so if you decide a bunch of settings that you like you can make your own preset and then you, it's just a click away because it's so annoying trying to remember all the different trying to remember what settings you used last time so to be able to just tap it and remember it is so great and i'm very very excited for that another new feature that i am super excited about is the live burst setting so they kind of had something like this before but wasn't necessarily uh, it was more just photos it wasn't a video so basically you can take a three second live video clip um, so you either have a three second clip or you can choose from 90 photos that it takes in those three seconds to find what photo is the best so I used to do this with burst mode on my GoPro Hero 4 <laughs> uh, so if we go cliff diving just hit that quick and jump so because it's happened so quick that's gr it's great for getting awesome shots really quickly so this will be a nice new feature and you can go through them on your phone to figure out which one you like the best so that'll be a really cool feature so to answer the question should you upgrade so if you are looking for the best camera with all of the bells and whistles and the newest features you're definitely gonna want the Hero 8 I mean I think the difference in price now from the Hero 8 and um, the Hero 7 is only 70 bucks which for all the upgrades that you're getting is not that much of a difference so yes I would absolutely get the Hero 8 now if you already have the Hero 7 and you're thinking of upgrading to the Hero 8 I guess it depends on your preference as a vlogger I am definitely upgrading to the Hero 8 because I'm really excited about all the media mods and the different features that they're having in this camera but if you're looking for more of a rugged camera that um, you can just be rough with maybe you're better off sticking to the 7 
so honestly it's up to your personal opinion the hero 7 was a huge upgrade and to follow it up with another huge upgrade like this is awesome so i definitely will be getting the hero 8 i ordered it already and hopefully one of you guys will be getting the hero 8 very soon so let's talk about this giveaway and how you can enter to win a gopro hero 8 so first of all i'm a pretty small channel so your chances of winning this are extremely high so please support me in what i'm doing and if you enter please make make sure to share it so we're going to give you the directions right here on how to enter the giveaway also for the giveaway there will be directions in the description down below with the links of where to go and how to enter so this is going to be kind of a multi-step giveaway to enter the giveaway first of all you have to be subscribed to my channel hopefully you guys already are and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you get updated when I have new videos and actually the next video up is going to be part of that giveaway so make sure you do that the second part of the giveaway is to follow me on instagram i post tons of gopro stuff on there as well too and update you with what's going on my channel so also make sure to follow me on there now I don't have the GoPro Hero 8 yet it will be here in about a week and a half ish I believe so the final part of the giveaway is going to be in two weeks when I have my full review of the GoPro Hero 8 on this channel so when that video goes up make sure to like and comment that you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and leave your Instagram handle so I can make sure that you follow me over on Instagram too so the video review of the GoPro Hero 8 will be going up hopefully at the 21st and then the giveaway will be ending on the 28th and I will announce who won in the description of that video so also to increase your chances of winning please share this video on Facebook and also comment down below and let me know what you would do with your new GoPro Hero 8 so to be clear with how this giveaway goes step by step first of all this video is up make sure you subscribe on YouTube Two, hit the bell to turn notifications on three follow me over on Instagram Four, when the GoPro Hero 8 review comes out make sure to comment on that video that you entered the giveaway and leave your Instagram handle so that I know that you followed me on Instagram and that's it Thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for entering the giveaway if you entered and I'm excited to see who wins this new GoPro. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!